What can we do to feed the future world population? Well, that's an inquiry task I've set you guys to investigate. Now, this is just a short clip to show you where to find the information and where to actually find the instructions for it. The first graphic I want you to look at is the Great Balancing Act, and it tells you a lot about the problem in terms of the, the food gap, um, future economic development, and the current environmental impact. But where do you find this? Well, on my blog, where a lot of these sources are based, the first thing you need to do is to go to Activities and How Can We Feed the Future World Population. They are the instructions. So when you click on that, you're going to come straight to this. And that's where the instructions are if you've missed it. I've given, I've given that to you um, on paper, but here it is again. In order to find the Balancing Act um, article, it is a blog post, so when you put in here balancing act and as as a um, as a question up here balancing act and press enter, you're going to get this. And when you uh, click on that link, um, it will take you um, to the site that I just showed you. So there it is there, and it's got lots of other information there for you to have a look at as well. But that's the introductory one that I want you to look at. The second one is a clip called How to Feed the World. Um, in 2050 actions in climate change. Now you've watched this in class but there's a lot in it and you may watch to, want to watch it again but where do you find it? Well um, on my blog under food security it's the last one here if you go down I'll find it again there it is how to feed the world in 2050 so that will give you lots of good information. So as we already discussed um, in class it talks about the safe space and how to increase this safe space output and we did that in class so there's lots of strategies when you have a look at um, this video which I just um, showed you that one there. Now the next thing I wanted you to, to do is to um, have a look at another um, another article that again is on the post which talks about six ways to feed 11 billion people. This is a problem remember that um, we're going to have 11 billion mouths to feed in 2050 and what are six ways in order that we can achieve doing that um, so where you get this is is again from my blog what you do in in the um, question part up here I'm just going to put uh, 11 billion and that's enough of a, uh, um, a statement to get you there and once the internet finally starts working um, and mine's pretty slow as you can see you're going to end up with this and there's scientific strategies to be able to do that now that is a summary of what, what I've got from that site but if you want to get onto that site proper um, I think down the bottom here um, yes there it is there's the link where I've got all this information from anyway so you can go to that and I'll give you lots more information more in, de in detail information if you want so there it is there. And it's got a whole lot of links there. Um, and I've just um, summarised the um, important bits into that blog um, that I showed you. To reiterate, if you just type 11 billion, obviously it's going to um, find that as, as part of the search. Um, and you click on that and you find that information that I've showed you. Okay, what else do you need to do? Um, well, the textbook is a really good reference from page 80 to 85, so um, you know how to access that. Um, I've referred you to things on page 80, but from there to page 85, and this is just one of those diagrams that you're in it, which I think is, is, is quite useful, um, that will help you as well. So the textbook is really good. Now, all you have to do is come up with a response with 300 words. Right? Now, um, I will give you a choice of presentation, um, but I do want you to have an electronic version. So that means you can include graphs, uh, interactive or uh, animated maps and so forth. Um, you can have images, uh, of course you can have graphs, tables and other diagrams to illustrate what you're talking about. And as I said to you in class, um, 300 words it could easily turn into say four pages by the time you have other bits of pieces that you've included to make it interesting and engaging and now that's what your aim is okay 
Um, so you do include maps, graphs, uh, tables, um, you can all sorts of diagrams. Here's, an, here's another graph that's pertinent um, and so forth. We'll be assessed on uh, five criteria communicating. Um, that includes the visuals and that sort of thing. Uh, you've got to have a knowledge of what you're talking about, obviously, in relation to what strategies we can use to feed the future world population, um, what sort of graphs, tables, diagrams, images um, you collect. Um, and of course, what you need to do, you need to reflect and respond to this problem, that is, how we're going to feed the future world population. So um, and there's various implications and also some difficulties in achieving it, and that's what you would highlight there. Um, and how well you organise your, yourselves in order to get it done and also how well you've structured and put together your whole inquiry. So there's five assessment criteria. I'm hoping that's been useful to you. Um, I'm going to put this onto the website as well so you can find it um, and where, to, where, where you will be able to find it, and I'll show you quickly, is under activities. Um, how can we feed the future population? There'll be another thing that comes up and have an arrow and that's where I'll be sitting. Okay, thanks for listening.